Okay, we're going to work on order of operations, which we call PEMDAS. PEMDAS is a set of rules that helps us solve um, different equations if we have to find the value of something to evaluate an expression. So we're trying to find evaluate an expression, which basically means to solve it. Um, so what the PEMDAS stands for is P, which is parentheses. So we always do parentheses first, then exponents. Then we have multiplication, division. They come before addition and subtraction. The reason why multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction are written on the same line is because we go left to right. So if we have multiplication first, then division, we do the multiplication first. If we have division before the multiplication, we do division first. It doesn't matter. But these two, multiplication, division, always come before addition and subtraction. All right, so let's look at a couple of these. So if I have 3 times 5 plus 2 squared. Okay, so in PEMDAS, we do parentheses first. There isn't any. Next thing is exponents. So I need to do an exponent. I see it. So you rewrite stuff that you don't do. So 3 times 5 plus 2 times 2, because it's 2 squared, is 4. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is look at this and say, okay, I have multiplication. Multiplication comes before addition, so I do the multiplication. So I have 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 4. Rewrite it. And then the answer would be 19. So you go in like a triangle. Okay, you have to keep it nice and neat and orderly. And that will help you solve the problem. Let's do this one. So if I have 7 squared plus 3 squared um, divided by 3. That's a division, sorry. Okay, so in, in um, PEMDAS, first thing I do is my exponent. So I see two exponents, so I'm going to take care of both. So I have 49 plus 3 squared is 9 divided by 3. Now you're probably tempted to do the 49 plus 9 first, but don't do that because in PEMDAS we do division first. So we have to attack this right here. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. So it's 49 plus 3. And our final answer is 52. So you can see again our triangle. Let's try parentheses. So if I have 3 plus 5 squared minus 5 times 2. Okay, so the first thing is to attack our parentheses. Here's our parentheses right here. But I can't really do anything yet because of our exponent. So we got to work on the exponent first in there. So 3 plus 5 squared is 25 minus 5 times 2. Now we could work on this. So I have 3 plus 25 minus 5 is 20 times 2. Okay, again, you got to be careful because we have plus and we have a multiplication. So times we got to do that first. So it's 43 plus 40, and the answer is 43. All right, a couple more. Um, we're going to do something called a nested parenthesis. So it's a parenthesis inside a parenthesis. So I'm going to write 3 times, we're going to have a parenthesis here, another parenthesis, 4 plus 3, and we're going to square the whole thing. Oops. And we're going to, uh, that's a 2. Divided by, let's divide this by 2. Okay. So the first thing to do is to attack the inside parentheses. So I have that. So I have to do 4 plus 3. So it's 3 times 7. We got to square that because we have our square here. Divided by 2. 2. Next thing I need to do is again my parentheses, but I have an exponent there, so I have to do this right here. So what I do is, and this is what I'm doing, um, squaring the 7. So I have 3 times, when you have a 3 next to parentheses or a number next to parentheses, that means times 49 divided by 2. I'm going to rewrite this on another screen for us. So it's 3 times 49 divided by 2. So now we do 3 times 49 first. So 3 times 49 is 147. So 147 divided by 2 is what's next. So 147 divided by 2 is 70, uh, what is it, 73.5. I did that real quick in my head. Okay?